celebrating uh, stuff. And <laughs> it's email Twitter time. Do the jingle. This is a tweet from Aaron in Phoenix, Arizona. He says, uh, Greg, have you ever been in a hot air balloon? People say it's great, but I think I'm too scared. Am I lame? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 it's about, I don't know. I've never been up in a hot air balloon. I've been in helicopters, I've been in an airplane, and that's it. <laughs> well, the thing is, never really, a, a hot air balloon, helicopters and airplanes, you kind of, you, you start, you go somewhere and you get there. A hot air balloon, you get up, you get out. Now, and you might go somewhere if there's a breeze. <laughs> ah, this is from uh, Gerald in Shirley in New York. <laughs> You'll wake up the sensor. Gerald says, <laughs> Dear Craig, have you ever considered getting blonde highlights? Not only have I considered it, but also in my head. I... No, no, no. I wanted, I wanted to dye my hair peroxide blonde for a while on this show. Um, and I'll tell you why. Because I have a very low boredom threshold. <laughs> it's true. And I thought, if I dye my hair peroxide blonde, that will anger some people. And then I'll get angry back and we'll have a great laugh. <laughs> but the, uh, the, uh, the CBS won't let me dye my hair blonde. Perhaps if enough people went on Twitter and said, Craig, we want your hair to be blonde for a little while. Just for a little while. steps, baby steps. Let, let's just get the robot skeleton first. Before we try anything hard. <laughs> try anything hard. Um, this is uh, from Donna in Texas. I wonder if she's in Austin. Uh, Donna says, I was pulled over by the police for the fourth time. <laughs> So excited, I asked if I could have my picture taken with him. Was that bad? Oh, you'll get your picture taken, all right, Donna. Cut them, cut them. Yeah. All right, let's do an email. That's how the old folks send in the stuff. I don't know how to use Twitter. I liked it back in the old days when it was email. You know, this used to be all casinos all over here. Um, do, 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 do. This is from Susan in New York City. Susan's one of those names, isn't it? You don't know if it's a boy or a girl. <coughs> Dear Craig, says Susan. <laughs> Dracula is listed in the Amazon Kindle store as non-fiction. Is that book really true? Yes. Well, it's based on uh, it's based on some true stories about an old uh, uh, middle medieval middle-aged count. It's about you know uh, what's his name, uh, Vlad the Impaler. He used to turn into a bat. You know, the, the one thing about Dracula wearing a cape that I don't quite buy is usually people only wear a cape if they're a magician or very fat. <laughs> Sometimes, I understand that I, I struggle with my weight, and I always know if I get to cape, I've gone too far. When you, th when you start thinking, you know, I'm thinking a cape would go... I think a cape would go good with this white cap. The, and it's time. Well, I hope that's helped everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back.